outdoors now to this morning forest where our interior designer Banjo Beal has been on the trail for some sustainable seasonal interiors that do not cost the earth. Take a look. Hello, I'm Banjo Beal. I'm an Australian interior designer who's on a mission to solve your interior style dilemmas without splashing the cash. Over the last few weeks, I've shown you how to upcycle old furniture. That is stunning. Transform a living room on a tight budget. Oh my gosh! And in the final part of this series, I'll show you how incorporating nature can be a cheap and sustainable way to create some seasonal interiors. Autumn is here, and there's nothing I like more than the warm and earthy colours of the harvest season. I find so much inspiration from being outside and immersed in nature that I've taken a little trip to this morning's forest to see what I can find. Today, I'm creating an autumn-inspired tablescape, so I'm looking for some bits and pieces that might work around the centre of the table. Foraging is the perfect activity to bring the outside in for home styling. So nature has a free bounty of homewares, pine cones, sticks, even moss makes a gorgeous centrepiece on a table. I'm not the only one inspired by nature to create beautiful things. Ellie from Surrey Art School is here as I've got a couple of ideas that I need a hand with. All right, Ellie, I want to make an autumn tablescape and I want to do some bougie napkins, some pretty menus. What do you reckon we can do? Well, I think we can do some botanical monoprinting. It's a really simple process. All right, we've got our napkin. Let's get going. OK, so we're just going to take a little bit of ink yep. and we're going to just take our fern and we're actually going to ink the front of it. Front of it, that's so secret. We're going to do the flat side. Make sure you go all the way to the end of the leaves. So once it's nice and inked yeah. like that, we're going to position it how we want it. And Where you just it? pop it in that corner. Okay. And then we're going to use another clean roller yeah. and we're just going to roll to a decent amount of pressure over the top. Moment of truth. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Peel and reveal. Peel and reveal. So, we're just going to peel it off. Oh, oh that is gorgeous. And there we I go. I love that. How good's nature? So, I'm going to do the menus. Let's print these up. So, what? Load this guy up. Yep, just ink him up. Ink him. There you go. Just lay him out on the paper. Lay where you want him that to way. In. That's okay. it. And then we're just going to lay the paper on top. So hold it nice and still and give it a rub. Hey, yeah. look at that, child's play. Beautiful. Well, there's a few people coming to dinner. Maybe I'll let you do the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that's, that's stunning. One. Right, we've done well here. I've got my napkins, I've got my decoration. Now it's time to get some tucker. On a day like today, home farm glamping has the perfect setting for me to dress a table outside. But as we embrace the chilly nights, this would work on your dining room table too. So we've collected some sticks and wood in the forest. Now I'm going to turn this log into my centrepiece candle holder. All you need is a drill and we're going to make our holes for the candles. The job's done. So we're going to pop them in now. One, two, three. So if you're like me and you don't fancy the hassle of cooking, a grazing table is the perfect way to set a really stylish, fun tablescape. I've got lots of my forage stuff, things I've grown and bits and bobs, and we're gonna make this a really beautiful scene. Before I start with the food, we're just gonna layer it up with all the stuff that we've foraged. Fun vegetables are also a neat little styling item and best of all, you can eat them when you're finished with it. With a grazing table, you can basically just throw stuff on and see where it lands. A whole new meaning to throwing a party. Finishing touch, our menus we made earlier. And I think that table looks pretty good. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. You're 
welcome. Well, just go wild for your next dinner party, forage for your food and your decoration, and just have fun. Let's tuck in, guys. Mm, yes. Oh, I want to go outside with you two. And that, was, yeah. that was filmed only probably yesterday or the day before. Oh, isn't it beautiful? The weather. <laughs> Not in the summer gorgeous. at all. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I'm going to the forest. We've got a forest. Oh, are you? I know are it you? sounds. Where? Uh, it's near Guildford. I've never been there before. You're going foraging. You're going to have a lovely time. I don't know what I'm doing time. yet, but I'm going on Thursday, so I'm going to be live from the forest. And you're going to love it. You're going to be. Gonna... You're, you're back in doing the show with that. Oh, okay. Yeah, great. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs>